Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're gonna look at May predictions. Yeah, what's going on during the month of May for you? And to do this reading I have prepared four different piles with cards that will be four separate readings. What you do is you choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. As always, we will take one additional card together that you get to see face faced upwards and hopefully that will help you to find that right reading for you today. So let's go for it. May 2023 predictions. Oh, that felt like pile of one. So May 2023 prediction. I feel like that is actually two and three and four <laughs> look at the colors here <laughs> so this one is already popping out a bit so but we're gonna turn them around so let's see here pile one have a bee bee balm and vibrance Pile two, uh, Sinia with lightheartedness. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this name of the flower right, but yeah, this is how it looks like. And pile three, Aster with illumination. And finally, pile four, borage with optimism. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section that will take you directly to the pile and the reading that you have chosen today. And I'll see you in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn here to the bee balm with vibrance. And the card says, add some spark to your life. Bee balm encourages you to let go of inhibitions cut loose be passionate and sing your song at the top of your lungs without judgment every day is a gift worth celebrating bee balm reminds you to show up and embrace the potential of your own life with no excuses wow <laughs> powerful it feels like yeah it feels like may month is going to be a month where you feel more loose you are more free you are not you're not going to be so hard on yourself um uh, you are how how is, how is the saying you're like you're cutting yourself some slack you're giving yourself a break you're giving yourself the permission to i think let go of some stress and some responsibilities and i just see you know <laughs> i actually got a picture here you know when you eat big meal and if you ha wear a belt on your pants you have to kind of or you know you have to uh unbutton the the button on your pants because the, the the jeans are too tight because your stomach is so full and the 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 feeling of doing that is just like oh that felt good so i'm just getting like a um a relaxed feeling some way <laughs> you're unbuttoning your pants that sounds very weird very weird very weird but yeah let's continue here so we're gonna put your tarot cards to the side and dive into your oracle cards or some more oracle cards here and you have pluto with rebirth wow you know what it feels like with rebirth and pluto here i think the month of may is about you kind of you know not uh hmm Re, I think the rebirth have been, you know, there are many rebirths and transformations that we go through and it feels like this transformation or the rebirth that is happening during the month of May is not going to be, be a heavy one. It's kind of going to be a very light one and a very easy one, you know, like unbuttoning your pants, <laughs> like a relief. Yeah. So yeah, relief. That's the word. word. So this seems to be that May month is going to come with some relief into your life. And I just feel like you yourself 
kind of, I don't know if you've been hard on yourself. It feels like you are giving yourself the permission to breathe out. So maybe you finished like a big task. Maybe you just, uh, you know, Pluto is all about death and rebirth. So maybe you went through a major death during the month of April. And then May month is just going to be the integrating maybe just relaxing face like or you ended something or you finished something or there's a big task I feel that has been lifted out of your shoulders uh, something that was kind of yeah something that took a lot of energy that was difficult so rebirth uh, yeah I think you're gonna feel pretty good in the month of May let's continue here also energy yeah look at that so the bee balm is vibrance uh, and orange is energy. So you're definitely getting some new energy, some new inspiration and just an overall feeling good, feeling good about yourself. And like, it feels like there's new passion that's going to ignite inside of you. And I think you're shifting focus during the month of May. So there has been focus on something once again, kind of like a heavy task or a big task or a big mission or a project. Something that was de something was demanding a lot of attention from you. You had to deal with it. It feels like it was something that you couldn't like postpone or put to side. You had to deal with it, and it feels like it was like stressful in many ways on you. So, uh, yeah, that that is that is kind of that feels like that has ended. That energy is ending while you step into the month of May, maybe you are dragging some things along you, but it feels like during the month of May, you're really releasing the whole thing completely. And it's like, yeah, some of you, maybe you, you wrote, you had an exam or, you know, there was a big project in your work or could be something else. You Maybe you did some really heavy shadow work with the Pluto here in Rebirth, you know, the month of March and April, astrology-wise, have been crazy I mean it has been insane actually <laughs> so and now I think during the month of May you're gonna you're gonna see where you are you're gonna understand what those past months did for you maybe this has been going on since last year end of last year or something like that um, but I feel like m the month of May you're gonna realize how far you have come and you're gonna shift your focus and in many of you are shifting your focus because the the past thing doesn't exist anymore. It's like in a and an exam can also be you know can also signify kind of you had to go some kind of you had to go through some kind of a test. <laughs> Life was testing you with some challenges or something. So you you you're finishing the exam, and you know the fifth of May we have the total lunar eclipse in Scorpio and Scor Scorpio energy you know it's, it's it's the super spiritual energy so it has been something very deep so the, from 5th of May and uh, ongoing there's two week of two weeks of this shadowy uh, period after the lunar eclipse f from the eclipse season but it feels like you're getting clarity you are really closing that lesson and you are like, it feels like you're very eager to move on with your life. And I think for you, it's going to be like, they're showing me now the guides, you know, when you have a bandage or when a kid have a bandage on their, like they hurt themselves and you have a bandage and you want to take it off, you pull it off really fast, you know, <laughs> so it doesn't, uh, if you pull it off slowly, it's just going to hurt. So pulling it off fast. So I think it's going to go fast for you. All of a sudden you are in that new energy and you can almost not remember the past months and the difficulties that you had to face because you're going to be completely in a new energy and you're going to feel good about yourself. A uh, relief, a big relief. And there's going to be a lot of space in your life all of a sudden because that thing that was taking so much attention from you and so much energy from you is not there anymore. And you have expulsion with yarrow. Hmm. I think I have to Google that word actually to get some synonym, synonyms. <laughs> expulsion. Uh, let me just do it really fast. Uh, <laughs> expulsion the action of forcing someone to leave an organization was what I got here um, the action of forcing something out of the body 
Hmm, expulsion. Yeah, so something has been <laughs> expulsion. It also sounds like pretty, like a pretty intense thing. So I really think you went through something very intense. Something was kind of forced out of your life or forced or pushed towards kind of an ending or a change. And that feels like it's like, it could even be that you're hitting the end, like the end phase of this thing during the month of May, but I would say that would be in the beginning of the month of May or kind of like an integration thing going on here. But you're definitely going to start feeling those, uh, those feelings of freedom. And we have stand tall here with a beautiful tree. Wow. So yeah, whatever you went through, you're coming out on the other side, stronger and proud, actually proud over yourself, I think, over what you achieved. And maybe some of you achieved something very good in a very difficult situation or during a lot of pressure. Uh, yeah, during a lot of pressure. So, wow, we have to look at this card again. I mean, what a beautiful tree this, this is. It looks like it's complete, you know, it's because it's uh, the trees around here. So it looks like, yeah, it circles here, actually. So there's something coming to a completion. Something is definitely coming to a completion. You went through the death. Yeah, you went through the death phase. And for some of you, this could be going on. It's going to be different. But for some of you, it was March and April. For some of you, it was already from January. From some, some of you, it could have been uh, since last year, even. Uh, the, a big death that you went through and now during the month of May you're going to experience the other side of the coin you're going to start experiencing the rebirth the end of that cycle and that new energy that is coming into your life making you feel vibrant making you feel relieved making you feel like you want to sing your song at the top of your lungs without caring what anybody else thinks so it's like you are and with the energy here we have the Virgo, uh, yeah, Virgo and water sign here also. Hmm. There's going to be movement also in your life. So there's a, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, and, you know, it's like one door is closing, but one new door is opening up kind of at the same time. So it's like you're stepping into a new adventure. That old door closed and all of a sudden you're kind of in that new adventure. And... Uh, I feel like it's it's going to be, you're still going to be a bit busy bee, I feel like, kind of in May. I think, I feel like, like, energetically, there's going to be a lot of things going on because I think you're still kind of, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things going on with you emotionally, mentally, mostly emotionally, I feel, because of the, the changes and the trans, the changes, there's a lot of changes going on in your life, I feel. And kind of like in different fields, like your work, maybe your relationship, your well-being, even your health. And it feels like in month of May, you're kind of re, you're kind of looking over your life and making like new choices for yourself and also letting go of some bad choices or something that you don't want. Maybe you tried some things. Maybe you tried a diet and then was like, no, that didn't work. I don't want to do that. And you're trying something else. So there seems to be like you are kind of, this death that you went through kind of broke down the whole old life of yours. And now you are maybe even let go of things like job, partners, friends. And now you're, you're in, the, in the month of May, you are, because you're stepping into that new energy, you're also starting to rebuild your life. All the aspects of your life, you're rebuilding it in a way that fits your new energy. So you're going to start looking at your life and thinking like, yeah, okay, how does my diet look? How does my meditation routines look? Or my, you know, morning routine? routines or evening routines and what do I feel about my job and this relationship so there's gonna be a lot of things going on in that new energy because it's the beginning phase May month is gonna be the beginning phase of the rebirth that you're going through um, yeah that's how it feels here hmm hmm okay let's look at your tarot cards <clears throat> And you have a page of pentacles. Yeah, it's definitely a new beginning going on here. Oh, it doesn't auto focus here. Yeah, like, like, let's look at that. Okay, so yeah, new beginning going on, new opportunities coming in. And also, like I said, you are thinking about where, what do I want to do now with my life? Where do I want to go? 
uh, what do I need to change, what is outdated, what doesn't work anymore, it feels like you are <sighs> a lot of energy, I actually do feel a lot of energy going on, I mean, like you're still in kind of that transformation, <sighs> but in, like I said, once again, in the rebirth phase, so this kind of is going to feel, it's going to feel better than it did the last months and all these things that you had to face, but it's still going to be a lot of things going on within you, um, and the lovers, wow. So the lovers is also all about choices. So I really feel like you're doing, taking new choices for yourself. Maybe you changed your job. Maybe you looked over your friendships and you closed the doors for some and you're opening the doors from, for some new people or something like that. Or it could be projects that you started and then, then you looked over it and said, well, this doesn't feel right anymore, so I'm not going to continue doing this. And then you're getting new ideas and you're trying those out instead. So I just think it's going to be like a full-on month. <laughs> I mean, you have the energy to do it also here with the orange. So whatever you left behind was taking a lot of energy from you. And it feels like now it's kind of, uh, you have more energy for yourself to use. And you know, also when we go to the death phase, usually there's a lot of heavy emotions coming up and those heavy emotions have been stuck kind of in your energetic body. And when you release that energy, you get more flow. We had a water sign here. So there's more flow here and with the, Virgo element, there's more flow in your body at the same time, you're more grounded. That means, and you have released a lot of energy. I just feel like you're gonna have a lot of energy, I mean, to channel into what you want to do. So it's gonna be, you're gonna want to make changes into your life because you're gonna feel, you're not gonna be, feel, you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna be tired and, or feel fatigued or bored, or not bored or depressed or something like that. You're gonna feel a lot of intense emotions, but more on the happy side, <laughs> more like inspired and passionate and uh, yeah, and, 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 and things like that. So you're going to use that energy, it feels like, to create your new life. Uh, and the lovers here, nine of cups. Wow. I mean, wow. We have to keep on going here. And three of cups, celebration, and knight of swords. I mean, there's... who You are moving fast during the month of May. You are moving fast towards your goals, towards your decision, the, the, towards your... Uh, dreams, yeah, towards your dreams, you know, and you're creating a new life for yourself, you are like, really like, you. I see you looking behind your shoulder, you're like, yeah, there it went, my old life, yeah, there it went, and you're, finally, you're feeling that fresh air of stepping into a new future, finally, you're starting to feel what that hard work that you did with yourself, what those challenges that you had to go through, finally, you're going to see where it's, it's, Lead where it's where it has led you, and you're also gonna understand the potential you have. You haven't reached during the month of May. You haven't reached kind of the end of this whole energy, like I said. But you are in the beginning of the rebirth. So and you're gonna see your potential, and you're gonna see your life in new ways, and you're gonna be excited. I feel to um, start to plan and create and dream big. Yeah, May is definitely a month where you're dreaming big. And uh, yeah, nothing can stop you. Actually, your mind, it could be even be that you're a bit uh, wired up, you know, because the strong, the, the intense energy is going through your body at this, uh, uh, during the month of May. So you can be like very like, Woo! I don't know how to say it. You know, sometimes we have a lot of energy just, and that comes from us releasing something that took energy from us. So you definitely, like I said, during the death phase, you released and finished off things. And that gave you a lot, it did give you an energy boost here. Hmm. And if it's their love relationship, that is entering a new phase. I feel here with the Page of Pentacles and the lovers, Definitely a new face here and also with the Trio of Cups where you come together in a whole new way. So there can be, it could even be friendships or, you know, your soul tribe or something. You're coming closer with the people that you love, the people that mean something to you, the bond is strengthening and the people that are kind of you're done with, they're really, you're really starting to release the toxic people from your life and 
you are getting also the courage to really put healthy boundaries towards the people that you feel like the relationships that are outdated and it really feels for some of you you even have relationships that have been a hard time letting go of because maybe there has been like a lot of memories and a lot of past history together but it seems like naturally there is kind of a pull away from each other now so there's gonna be some endings here i feel some people are tr <laughs> some people don't want to let you go but i don't i don't th don't bother about that i just hear just keep doing your thing and in the, in the end it's kind of you know with expulsion here yeah hmm. because expulsion feel it feels like it was a kind of a let me read that again actually it was kind of wasn't it forcing something to leave <laughs> i thought yeah uh or forcing someone to leave the action or process or forcing someone to leave a place uh, or the action of forcing something out of the body yeah so you're you're definitely done some deep healing it could even be like you have mentally and emotionally let go of something but that energy is still in your body so the body is getting rid of the energy and with that you know what you could have some literally some physical symptoms some headaches you know night sweats uh, or some pains or something like that when this energy is releasing uh, and in, there's people in your life that is holding on to you that is going to be somehow forced out of your life and it's not it doesn't feel like you some of yeah some some of you are gonna put like really like i think some of you are gonna speak up during the month of may and tell these people like yeah you're you're finding your voice and your power to say like okay this relationship is not working like uh, our friendship doesn't give me anything anymore and uh, so uh, it could even be like a job or a, a relationship that you're leaving but you're finding the strength to do so and i feel like you're going to do it with a lot, of, a lot of confidence and a lot of power. A lot of confidence and a lot of power. It could even be this, 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 these people are going to be surprised over how courageous you are here with the Knight of Swords. You are not holding yourself back during the month of May. And I feel like you can be a bit everywhere with your energy. It is a bit wild, your energy, but it's wild in a good way. It's wild because you are kind of uh in the transformation you know the the bird phoenix went into the uh fire or the sun burned it and you know the ashes so you're in the face of rising up again you're rising up again and in that face you know it's a bit like oh okay i'm a new phoenix here so it's gonna be like your energy is gonna be a bit wild not crazy or not it's still in a good way but just you know in that first phase of the rebirth it's just a bit, a bit wild your emotion can be a bit here and there and you want to express yourself in new ways so who i think it's going to be like a very interesting month for you actually where there's a lot of things going on a lot of things going on and nine of cups also shows wishes and dreams coming true during this month so you are really starting to see how you are on the right path how you are on the right path and where this path is going to lead you uh, and it's going to lead you exactly where you have felt that you wanted to go so during this whole death phase that you went through i think you had a vision in your mind on where you wanted to go and during the month of may you're gonna start seeing that you're gonna start seeing your dream in the corner of your eye you know <laughs> and you're gonna see wow i'm almost there and that is gonna give you even more uh, energy and power but poor pe person is gonna not, not nobody's gonna be able to cross your path at this stage during the month of may because i think you're very passionate and fiery about where you want to go you are very quick with forcing people out of your life if it doesn't feel right so you are like really like in a no bullshit phase during the month of may and confident and, and powerful and wild i would say you're like a wild fire and it's good because it feels like those it feels like that part of you have been kind of um your fire haven't been haven't your inner fire hasn't been burning that strong there was things in the ways and now when you went through and ended those things you know the, the 
initial phase of that fire starting to burn again it's gonna be a bit wild before it integrates and it calms down so it's all about uh, integrating a new energy into your life during the month of May and with that a lot of fun things that comes I mean wow and I feel myself I, I speak fast and I feel like I'm losing the words a bit so I think you're gonna be a bit speeded up you know um, yeah and phew, expect a lot of things happening during the month of May a lot of good things happening for you and I'm, I'm, I'm curious like if you want to come back <laughs> leave a comment in the end of the month please feel free to do so Okay, pile number one, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your stories, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile two, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn here to Sinia, lightheartedness. And the card says, Senia encourage spontaneity and just plain silliness in order to help bridge the gap between responsible adult and innocent child. Allow yourself to rediscover your joyful, playful inner child. Open your heart and your imagination and allow yourself to dream. The world is your oyster and anything is possible. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ooh, are you getting, wow, I just feel like something, ooh, I just felt like such a victorious energy here, successful energy. So I think, is there something coming to fruition during the month of May for you, pile number two? Like a dream come true or a success coming true or... Uh, yeah, something like that. I just feel like you reach, you're reaching some kind of success. You are overcoming something I wouldn't say but like reaching a goal that you that you had put for yourself and you're gonna feel so damn good about it I mean you're gonna like your inner child is gonna just go Woohoo! so yeah yeah something good is happening to you in the month of May that's the first message that I got here and we're gonna put your tarot cards to the side and let's look at some more oracle cards you have Mercury with messages. Yeah, look at that. You're getting a good news. You're getting good news. And you know, Mercury is retrograde. Oh my God, I can't remember. Was it until the 14th of May? I actually don't remember how long. Uh, when Mercury is retrograde, everything goes kind of a bit slow. But for you, it seems that Mercury retrograde is going to be very good for you. Very good for you. And I just feel like you are getting... It kind of slows the pace down for your for your manifestation to take a spin and really really reach some kind of success. So I, I just feel like you're getting good news. You are getting good news and you are yeah, I just feel like good news and success. Hmm. Positivity. Wow. Marigold with positivity. And the lion here and also the air sign. You know, air sign is also about uh, things traveling through air. <laughs> are, you, are you getting something? Hmm. But news. Yeah, you're getting some good news. Or you're, you're, doing, you're getting a breakthrough. Or you're reaching success. You're being cheered at. People are applauding you. You are applauding yourself. You're celebrating your success. And you know, the lion here, uh, the energy of the lion is all about being kind of in a confident, good place. Hmm. Hmm. You're being seen, you're being recognized. What's happening to you, pile number two? Yeah, seen, you're being recognized, you're being applauded to, you're getting good news about your success. You might even get new offers. And uh, your heart is opening up. Life becomes easier. You are letting that silliness coming out come out of you, and uh, your uh, inner child is like really like woohoo! Life is fun, fun, fun. <laughs> well, it seems to be a very good month here going on. We have garlic with repel. Interesting. And the last card here is harvest the honey. Yeah, harvest time. 
Wow! So, and the B here makes me think of something creative that you have done or something that you try to build for yourself or something that you try to reach. Maybe you tried to publish a book or you made, you wanted your social media to grow or your web page or a project that you did at work or something else. There, there's something very close to your heart is, you know, because we had the inner child, it has to be something very close, where something very dear to your heart is going to give harvest time. Harvest time is coming during the month of May and it's going to make you feel light heart, light heartedness <laughs> and the life is already, it's like giving you re relief here. It's making you feel damn good. You're going to feel damn good. I mean, really good. Look at the flowers here. Uh, and I mean the, the flowers and the bees, it feels like summertime, lion energy, the sun is out here, playfulness, definitely lightheartedness, inner child has a lot of room to play here. And it's interesting because we have the mercury and repel here, mercury like I said is retrograde and the garlic with repel, hmm, it's like you are you overcome, yeah, like I said, overcame something. You over, you overcame something and rise on top of that challenge and created something amazing. Maybe you even took that challenge. You know, you are, yeah, you are the, uh, you know how they say, life gave you lemons and you made lemonade. I think you did that, pile number two. So life gave you some challenges and you, you took that or you repelled it. And you still thrived. And you're gonna... Yeah, you still thrived. Maybe you thrived because of that energy. Maybe there was people not believing in you. Or there was a lot of... I don't know. Something made you thrive. Something, you know. Something made you... Uh, make... <laughs> uh, something gave you the power to make those... Uh, lemons into lemonade and it seems like you did a great job in doing it as well like if, if somebody did not believe in you i mean they're gonna eat their own hat <laughs> isn't that the way you say it like yeah if i some oh, let's forget about that let's look at your tarot cards <laughs> so you have the chariot yeah the chariot you're reaching a goal during the month of may you're reaching some success and I like this chariot because it's kind of, you know, it's a different type of chariot card. It's the new vision tarot. And we see two slaves here actually going behind the chart chart here. So you're being freed from your slavery. And I don't know what that means. But you were stuck in some kind of slavery. Maybe it was an energetic situation or a relationship situation or just like a financial situation. You were stuck in something. And this success, the good news that are coming in here, the harvest that's coming in here, because you took these lemons and made it into lemonade, because you kept your positivity in the face of adversity, in the face of challenges, you kept your positivity, you kept on trying, you kept on dreaming. Yeah, look at this. We have a sun here and we have a dream catcher here. You kept on dreaming even in the most hopeless situation maybe you know, and you repel that negativity somehow. Yeah, you repel that negativity. You were wearing those garlics around your neck and, you know, the energy, energy vampires uh, to keep them away. And you try to focus on your dream, even if you had people that wanted to uh, mess it up for you, maybe. You could have, with the repel here, and because I said vampires, you know, vampires doesn't like garlic and it became energy vampires, so maybe you had to deal with some people, energy vampires, family members, old friends, or, you know, people maybe in the field that you're working, like competition maybe or something like that, people putting the evil eye on you, people not believing in you, trying to uh, mess it up for you, giving you the evil eye, making doing hexes maybe even or something like that. So, or it's just a... Uh, negativity of life you know or challenges could also symbolize that but you kept that garlic around your uh, neck you kept on focusing on the positive things the dreams that you wanted to manifest you found confidence here with the lion energy it could even be that you're doing this during the month of may and that is going to lead you to success but for good good news is coming to you pile number 
uh, too. I don't know what you want here, but it seems like your life is going to work out. So whatever was, whatever felt like you were bond and stuck in some kind of a slavery here you are being freed from that yeah the good news coming in here is freeing you and, and the harvest time is here and you're harvesting all those efforts that you put into creating and manifesting the life that you wanted uh, into drawing in that manifestation into your life so yeah it seems like big things are happening here during the month of may and seven of pentacles and you have been waiting i mean look at that you you have been waiting and uh, sometimes patiently and sometimes not patiently sometimes restlessly rest with restlessness because th this it seems like you were in a situation where you, where you didn't want to be and you you were very eager to change your life very eager to change your life and this eagerness to change your life into something positive that's what gave you the strength to put your to pull yourself up every time life was throwing your lemons and make lemonade out of them so and now it's finally giving you results you know the chariot is about kind of a new beginning and also about victory so yeah victory and the harvest time look at that high priestess <clears throat> your intuition is going to be high your your connection with yourself is going to be very strong uh, very very strong you're gonna have uh, hmm whatever is coming to you wherever whatever good thing is coming to you nothing can take away from you nothing can mess with this anymore your success is yours and it's here it is here to stay into in your life so if if you are worried about evil eye or if you're worried about this energy vampire energy energy vampire energy <laughs> this energy here <clears throat> you don't have to be that it feels like you have everything under control here with the high priestess you're very awake and aware during the month of may you know who you are you know where you want to go you know what you have to do you know what you deserve and you know what kind of energies negative energies that is around you what toxic people that you have around you you know how they affect you and you know what action to take to repel that energy and keep holding that positivity and it feels like you're doing that and with that this this thing that you're doing here is creating the space for the good news to come in because you're pushing out you're repelling you're repelling the negativity from your mind and you're focusing on the positive positive energy that you have and i mean you are the high priestess that is your energy so you are very spiritually awake and aware and connected connected with positivity connected with your inner child connected with your goddess or your god energy that you have inside of you so you're very powerful here and i feel like in during the month of may you're gonna be fed up from circumstances energies and people taking uh taking energy from you and kind of holding your dreams uh holding kind of like making your dreams come to you slower or something because it feels like you're very aware that this negative energy somehow affects you so i think you're going to be very strong in your boundaries and what you want and what you don't want but you're you're very powerful during the month of may and we have seven of cups here yeah you're gonna do a lot of choices for yourself you're 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 taking good choices for yourself but the success, you know, there seems to be like good news coming in, in several areas of your life. You know, we had seven of pentacles here and seven of cups, seven, seven, seven. The, the angel number seven is all about being on the right path. Every time I see a number seven, uh, I feel like, yeah, I'm on the right path. That's how the guides tell me you are on the right path. So you are on the right path. You're getting good news, new possibilities, positive things is coming into your life harvest time is here and the last card here is the moon so yeah moon repel uh and the high priestess here so there's definitely like secrets going on during the month of may and there is kind of like could be people gossiping about you or you know because you are you are starting to rise now you are pile number two you are really starting to rise now you are starting to reach success with the thing that you wanted and your life is you know on the verge to change 
for the rest of your life. I mean, there is a big successful period coming here and I feel like the month of May is kind of the start of that. that. And it's starting to show, your success is starting to show here with the lion energy here, with the Leo energy. You know, Leo cannot hide. <laughs> if you're in the Leo energy, you're, you're going to be seen, you know, you're a leader, you're charismatic, you're vibrant, you are out there. You know what, when I said vibrant, I really feel like this pile is so similar to pile number one. So if you felt drawn to pile number one, I, I would definitely say that uh, there is messages there too, because it kind of feel like the same reading or the same energy more or less. So definitely, if you felt drawn to pile number one, I would recommend you to see that reading as well. So, hmm, yeah, this moon energy, secrets, gossip, there's th there is some evil eye energy around you. It feels like I said, it feels like you know which people this is. You kind of know these energies and the toxicity maybe that you have around you. It could even be, like I said, family members or uh, colleagues or something like that. And I, I just feel like you are not letting it affect you during... You're going to be busy with your success. You're going to be busy doing your thing. And I think you learn, you're really learning, you're really learning during the month of May how to hold your energy, how to hold this positivity. And uh, yeah, and with that, reach your goals. So there's going to be things coming through. And yeah, there's going to be things coming through during the month of May. I think we're going to do three more tarot cards. So let me go get that. Oop. Oh, let's do this <laughs> wheel of the year. I just felt harvest. I keep hearing harvest time. So harvest time is here. You're getting success. You're getting the good things. You're getting recognized. You're being seen. You're getting cheered on. You are reaching some big goals. You're getting signed. You're getting published. Um, new doors are opening up. You're getting a lot of offers. People want to kind of like people are seeing your success and some people, you know, the the old toxic people that were competing with you or something like that, they're going to feel like a bit of a sting in their eye. <laughs> and uh, uh, other people are just going to be like, ooh, pile two, I want to collaborate. Uh, so they're going to be mailing you or calling you or approaching you. There's going to be a lot of things going on hidden here around you. But I just feel like with the garlic and repel, I feel like you're safe. I mean, you have your garlics around your neck here. You're focusing on your thing. You're keeping the positivity here. So you're focusing on your thing. You're going to be busy with all this good news. So it feels like this energy is not going to bother you all too much. And we have the devil. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Whoo, the devil, yeah, hmm. Yeah, with the slavery here that I said, I mean, yeah, slavery is a pretty, pretty uh, heavy thing. So could it be some karmic bonds that you're really repelling and le releasing during the month of May, you know? Because the devil is all about uh, something toxic. Something toxic could also be like a toxic addiction. Um, hmm. You could have people obsessing about you during the month of May because of your success, because of you really rising. You're starting to really rise to the top here. And it shows. Maybe you're sharing this in social medias or somehow this shows. Maybe you bump into these people and they see you like beautiful, shiny, happy. Maybe you're like if you published a book or something, you're seen, you know, with a lion, like this recognition. So... Yeah, if you have somebody, maybe somebody is obsessing over you. It could even be a toxic ex-partner wanting to come back into your life or something like that because they see you now, you are shiny, you look fine, you look happy, you got your shit together. And not just that, you're reaching success, good things are coming to you, your life have, you have completely turned your life around. So yeah, hmm. interesting energies here. And you have the page of cups yeah page of cups good news damn pile number two you're getting some good news if you it could be like you're waiting for a new apartment or a house you're getting you you're getting what you want you're getting what you want and you know with the seven of cups it feels like it's several things going your way things are really going your way and we have eight of eight of cups yeah leaving you know eight of cups is somebody um leaving 
something to find something better so it could really be that you're cutting off you know friends that you don't vibe with anymore or work that you don't feel good with because you're getting a better offer yeah that's what's happening during the month of may you're getting a better offer it could even be that you're stuck in a toxic relationship but you had a hard time leaving it and then you meet the love of your life and then it's like whoo okay this i want to go with this instead <laughs> or something like that or you have a job did I say this? I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I've been meditating a lot. My energy is a bit... Uh, sometimes I, I don't remember what I say, actually, because my mind is a bit... I have a Kundalini brain at the moment. <laughs> Anyways, so maybe you're, you have a job that you don't like, but you have a hard time leaving it, you know, because it gives you money. It's this, you know, it's this uh, love-hate relationship here. It gives you money, yeah, that you like, but it kind of stings, you know. Look at these thorns here from the roses here and all of a sudden you're getting a job offer and you're like yeah i'm gone like i'm going <laughs> i'm go i'm gonna take on uh, i'm gonna take up on that offer so <clears throat> maybe you try to publish a book or you try to, to you were trying to collaborate with somebody to to uh, reach yeah you were collaborating with somebody in some way and this person and you weren't really vibing there was a lot of drama you felt like but you there's some somehow this person could give you something because of their knowledge and their connections maybe but it was it was like uh, like I said a hate love relationship it was kind of a toxic um, but you were holding on because you you were feeling like you'll I have to because maybe this is the only way for me and then you're getting a better offer there is a collaboration coming in a person coming into your life that is kind of like in your energy vibing like you're loving and uh, just feels good so you're leaving that that other thing hmm hmm yeah, you're freeing yourself from the slavery here and moving on. There's a lot of things happening here for you, pile number two. Let's see what else that I get here. Some There's somebody who's going to be sad also that you uh, left them or that you're not there in the same way. I feel like you are done with taking toxicity. So you're really repelling, you're you're done with the toxicity in your life, that's what I feel. And during the month of May, I really feel like you're taking those last steps or freeing yourself from whatever toxic relationship, toxic job, to toxic house situation, uh, you know, collaborations, whatever toxicity that is in your life, it's definitely going to be, you're taking the steps to release that and you're getting help because of the past past uh, this the past work that you did with yourself you know like i said life throwed your lemons and you kept making lemonade so because of what you did in the past you have also turned the wheel to your favor so now it's harvest time you're getting good news and all of a sudden things are solving for you you know and with that you can really 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 finally Free yourself from all the toxic, bad situations in your life and move on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, pile number two. That was your reading today. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like leaving a comment in the commentary section, please feel free to do so. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile two. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn here to Aster with illumination. And the card says, like a star illuminating your way, Aster helps provide clarity and focus so that you can discover appropriate channels of communication and self-expression self without anxiety and self-consciousness. Aster helps you to manifest your creative ideas, translating inspiration into physical form. Hmm. I feel a calm energy here and I can say pile number one and pile number two was kind of a higher energy in some way. And this feels a bit more soothing. Something is going to be very soothing for your energy during the month of may like a star illuminating your way so aster helps provide clarity and focus so i think you're getting clarity 
during the month of May, but I think also calmness. I think things are calming down for you. It just feels like uh, calm, soothing. I don't know if your energy have been uh, stressed or something like that, but you're getting soothed. You're calming down. Your your the pace is slowing down during the month of May. You have time to. Uh, take a break and look at the flowers and look at the sky and appreciate the trees. That's how it feels like. <laughs> so illumination, yeah, maybe you're getting more in touch kind of with your spiritual energy and kind of the presence here and now, appreciating things, feeling more gratitude. There's definitely a slower pace going on, I feel here. But let's not say too much. Let's look at your tarot. Your... Yeah, we're going to put your tarot cards here. Let's look at some more oracle cards and we'll see how the reading develops here your sun wow <laughs> look at that the sun and the swords that was a powerful card wow oh i just feel like obstacles have been lifted out of your way and during the month of may the path forward is clear it is clear it is like crystal clear there's nothing in your way i mean the sun is shining here there's no clouds uh, the clouds are gone and you're getting suited. You're getting a suited energy. You're just feeling like you are calming down in your energy, you know? You're, you're breathing because I had a hard time breathing. Actually, I had to do this the beginning here, I think three times <laughs> because I was like breathing so fast or I had to catch my breath. <sighs> so it feels like you've been running maybe the last past months. <laughs> you've been in a marathon maybe and you now you're hitting that end goal or end line and you are whoo, calming down resting rejuvenating yourself and the obstacles are gone now from the way because yeah you, yeah it's gone it's just gone i don't know what was there but it's gone now it seems and continuance with apple here we have the capricorn energy we have the uh, yeah, I don't know actually. Hmm. Earth element. No, that's not the earth element. Uh, water element. Yeah, the water element here. Water element and Capricorn. Apple continuous. Apple is about about abundance actually, and and uh, you know living the good life. So I think you're living the good life in in May. You're gonna feel good, and I think you know. Because pile one and pile two was there was a lot of energies going on there. It was wild. It was positive energy, but the energies was going wild. So I think for you, if you if you really felt drawn to pile number three, I think there's gonna be a lot of things going on with people around you, and you're gonna start. You're really gonna enjoy the good life. You're gonna be. Your life is gonna be very calm and stable. The continuance here feels like it's gonna end with with a water element. It feels like it's gonna flow. Your life is gonna flow in a very uh comfortable your life is flowing in a very comfortable energy and you know the sun is still shining there's still a lot of abundance there's still a lot of things happening capricorn energy shows here that you're moving to forward towards your goals and uh, towards your manifestation the apple shows that things are also manifesting good things are coming to you um so there's still going to be movement forward and good things happening, but it's not going to be wild energy. It's going to be very calm and stable energy and, you know, soothing and you're going to feel good and you're going to have time to take a breather, watch the clouds, uh, sun your face or, you know, sun your face, tan, tan your face, what's it called? Tan your face in the sun. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but anyways, let's continue sugar and sweetness i mean look at this wow i like this pile i hope this is my pile <laughs> sugar and sweetness so yeah there's a big look at the the frog here on top but look at the um the pile of money here so yeah abundance is definitely coming into you you're getting some sweet things during the month of may the sun is shining you're getting candy you're getting the abundance of the apple. Your life is continuing. There's a nice flow. You're on the right path. Things are have been cleared out of your way. It's, you know, the path forward is crystal clear. You don't have any doubts in your mind where you're going, who you are. And uh, 
everything seems to work out in your favor. I would say like May is a month where you have no problems and that is kind of a bald thing to say for me, from me. Um, but it feels like that. You have minimal, minimal problems during the month of May, I feel here. We're gonna look at the tarot cards here, but look at this. You have a seahorse here. Wow! Float like you mean it. I mean, you are a seahorse during the month of May. You are floating like you mean it. You're gonna have it. You're gonna have a good time. Oh, I so hope this is gonna be my pile. Usually, I I choose my pile when I do. Well, yeah, when I do the editing and I I have done the YouTube miniature. <laughs> That's when I usually choose my pile. But who? This is a good pile here. This is a good energy. I like this. Calm and harmonious. You're gonna float like you mean it. I mean, you're gonna be living the good life like you really mean it. Like you deserve it. You're gonna know your self worth. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be shy, from. You're not gonna hold yourself back from living the good life. You're gonna want to. I think you're gonna even spend money on yourself. I don't know if you want to buy new clothes or fix your hair or decorate something in your house but you're not gonna you're not gonna hold back on self-love during the month of may there's a lot of pampering yourself taking care of yourself enjoying life in any way you feel that you want for the moment and i mean life is giving you so much good things i mean the sun you're gonna feel like you have energy also and inspiration i really like this energy here so let's look at your tarot cards. And you have, yeah, King of Cups. I mean, that's you, <laughs> King of Cups. And this is the tarot of the new vision. So they look a bit different here. So the King of Cups, you know, we see the King of Cups with the back. We see the back of the King of Cups. Look, we have all his tools here. So the work is done. During the month of May, the work is done and you are on a vacation. So some of you might even go on a vacation, like a spontaneous vacation or you have planned a vacation. But the hard work is done and you're just enjoying. You're enjoying your what you did and there's nothing that can disturb your peace. <laughs> because everybody else is going to be busy with other energies, I feel, during the month of May. So you're going to really be enjoying your peace. Nobody's going to bother you even, it feels like, because... Like I said, people are going to be busy with their own thing. So I feel like you're being left alone. Or with people that are also feeling very good. And you have two of wands. Yeah, and in that kind of like vacation-y feeling, life is good feeling, you're also looking ahead. Uh, looking ahead and planning kind of, yeah, the next steps that you want to take. Like I said, we had the Capricorn energy here. Capricorn is all about planning. It's all about working, going forward. So it's like you, and because of the clarity that you have ne now uh, during the month of May, because the path has been cleared, the obstacles are now gone because you can see ahead with like a lot of clarity, you can you will also know what kind of steps that you need to take. So you're really like, but you're doing this in a good way. I mean, maybe you're even like tearing apart an old like affirmation list that you wrote because you need to make a new one because you feel like, yeah, the work is done. I reached my goals and you're doing this. You know, I see some of you are like laying like kind of in a sun chair somewhere on a vacation. You have your little journal and you're writing in it. And this shows me, the guides are showing me really again and again, good life. Like May is the good life coming to you. And you have king of wands wow so you are on top when it comes to your inspiration and creation for some of you you could even be doing cre creating a lot during the month of may because you are in that high creative energy uh you know with the sun here you you have a lot of creative power during the month of may you are powerful you just have a lot of pow power hmm because the positivity that you carry uh, because the obstacles that you had overcome they're they are gone they're out of your life there's not even a, you don't even have to integrate or do anything it's kind of just done and gone and you have just <laughs> you just you are just having a vacation now <laughs> and, and the two ones can even show that you're kind of in between in between the old and the new and the continuance showing here now how you're planning the future how you're planning how to go ahead from this new place hmm 
And we have two of swords here. And the last card here is Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're moving forwards. And, and the Wheel of Fortune shows also kind of an end of a cycle. So you ended the cycle, you have stepped into the new cycle. You are in the bar though, you know, the bar though is kind of the life, the, 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 the dimension between dimensions, kind of the life, uh, the place between lives like the no man land, or I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but kind of like, so you're kind of there and, and you're kind of in the middle now. So you closed one chapter and you're walking into a new chapter. So now you're in the middle and you're having a rest time. I think, I feel like the universe is giving you a rest. I feel you are giving yourself a rest because you worked hard. I mean, look at all these tools that you had to use here. And now you're, you're drinking your, I don't know, grape wine or something. And you're sitting here and you're just looking at the water, looking at the nature, just enjoying that life is finally calm. The work, the hard work is done. Um, the obstacle has, the obstacles has been lifted. You feel powerful. You feel confident. Uh, you don't feel stuck anymore. You know what you, where you, you know, um, you know, that you have, you know, you can feel during the month of May, you're going to feel that you have closed that door. You're going to feel completely that that door is closed and you know that you are about to step into a new energy. And now it feels like you are thinking, feeling, planning on how to go forward in the new energy. What do you want now in that new energy? What do you want to create for yourself? And the continuance here shows kind of your, the story continues, but in a new energy, in a new pace. Mm -hmm. Definitely a vacation here. If somebody wants to go on a vacation during May, I would say go. But I think you're, like I said, I think you're spending money on yourself during the month of May. You're not holding back on anything. Because I think you feel like you deserve, you deserve good things now. I think you really, you can really see the, the hard work that you did. And I think you can feel it also. Maybe your body is a bit tired. Um, so you are re recuperating. You are re, you're resting. You are hmm, resting in a way where you choose to do things that are good for you. Hmm. You know, resting doesn't have to be that you're, just laying and sleeping and you're meditating, you know, stuff like that. But it's like you, you don't do, it's, it's not going to be a month where you have to deal with serious stuff or heavy stuff. I feel like your guides and the universe is giving you a break because you're in between now. You're in between the doors, the doors that closed and the door that is opening up. And uh, it's just like, yeah, we can wait a bit before we go into that new door. Let's just rest a bit here. And, uh, mm. I feel like also that you're getting a lot of creative ideas during the month of May. So your channel or your your channels are very open, especially your like your psychic channels. So you're getting a lot of I think downloads and information. And I think during the month of May you're gonna get some information on the path ahead. What is the next step? What is coming on the path ahead? And it seems to be something creative that you're meant to do, some project, some mission, something. Yeah, something creative that you're meant to do here. Uh, some creative endeavor or something that is meant to somehow give you something good in the future uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. So it's something, yeah, you are being guided towards your next goal in your soul contracts, the next thing in your destiny. Yeah, the next thing in your destiny. So you have definitely checked off ticked off, ticked off, that's the word, word, I've been looking for that for some time, you have ticked off a big box with something that demanded a lot of effort from you, a lot of tools and resources from you to overcome, so you have ticked that off, you're resting, like I said, you're looking ahead, you're getting insights, you're getting ideas, and uh, yeah, and, and you will move on, but I think really, like I said, I think May, the month of May is just a easy time for you. Let's do some more tarot cards. And I think we're going to do, yeah, I think we're going to do this one. Let's do this. Oops. oops. <laughs> so the month of May, if we have some last messages here for pile three. Uh, 
that's one, and let's do this one, and let's do that one. Okay. And you have, wow, look at that ace of cups. Yeah, strong new beginning is coming into your life. Wow, what a beautiful, look at this magical. There's a magical, I think, yeah, I think, you know, I think the month of May could be the best month for you for, for, for the whole year even. Because it's it's calm, it's harmonious, things are going your way. There's no nothing, there's no resistance from the universe or from life. It really feels like things are going your way during the month of May. And look at this, Seven of Cups, but what a beautiful Seven of Cups here. Look how happy you are. <laughs> You're flying. So you have a you have a dragon. Is that the call? No, a kite. Yeah, the name is the kite. <laughs> so in Swedish it's called a dragon, but that's not the same thing in English. So it's a kite here. So you look at this. She has a butterfly kite. So yeah, you did the hard work. You did the transformation, and now you're like holding it here, proud and happy and sh smiling. You know, with all the cups, with all the new opportunities that has opened up for you because you let go of that thing that you did because of the hard work that you did because you face those challenges and obstacle and transform them and transcended them and took them out of your life in some one way or another we have another two of swords here wow interesting so two of swords two 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 of swords yeah hmm on top of each other i think we're gonna do one more card here and we have king of wands again wow so you have uh Two of Swords two times and King of Wands two times here. So I really think it's going to be a, a lot about future, hmm, the decisions that you make for your future. And I think, you know, with the Two of Swords here, uh, you're really getting clarity on how to move i think something has been you know what I'm, i think i'm getting the message here i think something has been very unclear for you kind of where you are where what you are supposed to do with your life <laughs> sounds that sounds very like existential big question here <laughs> but i think in in some some part of your life maybe when it comes to your creativity or your talent or your gift your abilities you have been it could be that you have been a bit un, un, unsure about what you are really what the universe or what the guys or what your higher self or what's in your life plan what you are meant to do here because two of swords on top of each other shows kind of the energy who has been closed there but the king of wands here shows and the sun here shows how you're breaking through this uh not knowing the not knowing. So you're getting the information during the month of May and I don't think you have to do anything to get it. It's kind of just the time is right. You did what you needed to do before. You need you needed to deal with some things before you got this information. So it feels like you have done that and now you're getting clarity and not just clarity but also knowledge about what steps you need to take to go forward with that and if this has been a creative endeavor that you've been working with or doing and you have been stuck in that that is finally you're finally breaking free from that stuckness that stagnation is finally breaking free you're taking a bit of a rest time during the month of may you're still very creative very very creative i mean with the king of wands king of wands but you're doing it from a place of fun now you're not doing it from a place of stress or uh you know wanting some certain results you know uh now it's kind of feels like more fun you're doing it from a more powerful place from a more confident place like i said you know who you are you know where you're going you are uh you are dealing with that in kind of a new way and that makes this stagnated energy i just want to take these cards and kind of throw them away because it feels like it's gonna this it makes this energy go away wow i just took one more card because i felt i want to put it here look at the tower here so we got the tower here so two of swords toward the swords i just felt like this is breaking down and the tower is all about breaking that down so it feels something Something unexpected actually will happen here during the month of May. And that is the breakdown of a big stagnation when it comes to 
clarity about your creativity, about your gifts, about your talents, about something that you're meant to do, uh, about how you're supposed to reach that big success, how you are supposed to be the king of your life. And I feel like, you know, maybe you're in vacation, you're enjoying all these things, and there's an opening in your energy, there's an opening in your energy happening. And with that, there's an old structure here, an st old blockage or stagnation that is finally breaking down. And I like this tower moment here because it doesn't show havoc in your life. It just shows how it's just attacking. And it's very funny actually, because I got that a word. I was keep, I keep hearing that word attacking. So it's like er everything is going to be calm. There's a blockage in your life that's going to get attacked <laughs> by some powerful energy and just like like this look at that and then it's gone and then you are like back and all fine so whatever this tower moment and whatever this blockage and stagnation is here it's going to be lifted out of your life in a very good way for being the tower moment but the tower moment shows uh, that it's going to be a surprise coming you're not expecting that you're going to be able to release such a big blockage from out of the blue because you're not even thinking about it anymore but it's just going to happen and it feels like your third eye is opening up your throat chakra is opening up your channels are really opening up and that's also where you're getting new information new downloads on how to guide yourself forward into your life into you know next step of your life whatever you are meant to create or do or achieve in the next step of your life so you're definitely meant to move on you're definitely meant to move on uh uh yeah your soul is ready for the next phase of its adventure mm -hmm. okay Whew. pile number two that was your pile number three i mean that was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like leaving a comment in the commentary section please feel free to share your story either way i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye pile three Hello, pile four, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn here to Borage with optimism. And the card says, Sweet Borage, encourage playfulness and spontaneity to help uplift your spirits. When you are feeling disheartened and blue, Borage will help you rise above sorrow and depression and instill fresh courage enthusiasm and confidence in your ability to move through life's obstacle obstacles hmm i just <laughs> just before i started reading when i just picked up your pile i just saw wa water water yeah i just see water like fresh drinking water or something with water there and that makes me feel like it's gonna be something healing with something healing is going on during the month of may something he something is healing within you during the month of may and i feel a lot of sorrow and sadness and it also says you know borage will help you to rise above sorrow and depression hmm give you confidence in your ability to move through life's obstacles so yeah you are you're getting some deep healing i think very deep healing actually during the month of may so it it's so deep it goes to your inner child it feels like hmm. let's put your tarot cards here and let's look at some more oracle cards and you have virgo with digest oops digest hmm and you know, the sixth house is all about routines. It's about our health. Digest, you know, it's about the body. It feels like you're getting new vitality or something is going on with your body. We have, is it wheat here also showing abundance? Hmm, let's continue. I think we have to continue. Refinement with Dahlia here. And we also have Scorpio energy. We have romance. Wow. <laughs> romance with the rose. <laughs> Beautiful. And Nessie came here also. Hello, little cat. So, yeah. <laughs> so, romance and rose. Hmm. Virgo, Virgo digest refinement. 
Oh, there is something very sweet going on here. You know, for some of you, it could be like a reconciliation with a loved one or something going on with a loved one during the month of May that is very sweet. There's a sweet love going on here or a sweet relationship, something sweet, you know, and with the water, you know, a lot of healing. So maybe there's a lot of healing going on in a relationship. And we have, oh, <laughs> we have a sloth here and easy does it. Easy does it. So yeah, it could be something was hard to digest. I think this is something about a relationship or maybe even the relationship with yourself. It feels just like it was difficult. And uh, yeah, hard to digest, it was difficult, and it was just heavy, it feels like your body felt heavy, this relationship felt heavy, and refinement here shows, we have the air element, shows movement, it shows the change of air, change of energy in a situation, so either in the relationship with yourself, or in the relationship with somebody else. There's new optimism coming into this relationship. I keep seeing water, you know, there's healing coming in. There is conflicts being lifted away. There is a resolution, resolution, resolvement of like problems or arguments. So if you had a hard time talking with somebody, if it's like no contact situation maybe, or just like the relationship with your partner have not been working in a good way or the relationship with yourself has been like not good uh, you haven't been taking care of yourself you felt disconnected from yourself um, there was just like heavy things you could even have problems with your stomach your daily routines were like just off <laughs> you know you were not uh, you maybe you were yeah you were sick maybe a lot or uh, something was off, off balance. Something was really off balance. And it's coming back to balance during the month of May. And not just that, it's coming back to balance with a refinement. So whatever it was, it's working better than before it came off balance. So it's gonna be like your your connection with yourself becomes deeper, your, your connection with your body becomes deeper, you're taking care of your body in a new way. If it's a relationship, you know, your connection with this person deepens, you talk things out, you are meeting in a new place and it's just better than it, it has ever been before and uh, you both feel optimistic here. There's playfulness and spontaneity coming in here also. So, hmm, new energy, yeah, definitely a new energy here and uh, a new start in the connection with yourself uh, or another person, like I said. I think we have to look at your tarot cards here as well. <clears throat> look how beautiful this energy is. There's a lot of pink here with the romance and the rose and the dahlia here, refinement and easy does it. I mean, there's pink here as well. There's a pink rose up here and the sloth, you know, take it easy. <clears throat> I think it's called the slot. slot. <clears throat> it's also turquoise here. So there's a lot of Turquoise is the higher heart chakra and you know, the pink energy is also the heart chakra. So self-love, love, loving your body, loving yourself, taking your care of yourself in a better way, taking care of your relationship in a better way, giving and receiving love in a better flow before maybe it was only you giving love or only this person giving love. And now you're meeting on equal grounds yeah equal grounds things are balancing out here really balancing out and i think for some of you you're about to really experience some new romance in your life coming in and temperance wow i keep say saying balancing out you got temperance here temperance is all about balance so yeah new balance is coming into your life that shaky ground is finally stop stopping to shake and yeah you're finding new ground calm ground hmm and we have three of pentacles. And, and that's what I said. It's not just coming back to balance. Three of pentacles also shows kind of coming back to balance in a new way. Kind of you have mastered something. You learned something from this unbalanced phase. And you mastered something. And now you're doing it in a different way. So from now on, whatever this is that came back into balance, if it's kind of your 
connection with your body and yourself or this person or something else uh it is gonna be uh just better better than ever better than ever yeah better than ever you're confident now you know what you did wrong maybe you know where, where you went wrong you know what you want and what you don't want and how to get it and what you need to do and how you need maybe to express yourself and uh, if it's another person how you need to express yourself or it's just like i just love this energy it just feels so it was it feels just so clear and easy and light here and knight of cups so yeah definitely for some of you this is definitely a love look at this love coming in and there's a like this person is coming back into your life or you are reconnecting like i said the air has cleared out the, the, the heaviness is gone now the heaviness that you went through is gone three of swords yeah pain pain in the situation a lot of pain here pain sadness sorrow so healing here uh, a lot of healing during the month of may and justice wow not just healing also balancing more yeah more balance here karma also karma balancing out so could it be some kind of karma that you have worked out with this person or in relation to yourself some kind of heavy karma that gave you he he heartache that gave you sorrow that gave you pain that made you disconnected with self-love or unconditional love towards your person or this person towards you so easy does it yeah it's gonna be easy flowing you both learned something or you learned something or you healed something or you're healing something you're you are getting justice here you are clearing out the obstacles because it said here also yeah um borage will help you rise above sorrow and depression and instill fresh courage enthusiasm and confidence in your ability to move through life's obstacle so you're coming back with new courage enthusiasm and confidence in your ability to move through things that comes up and with that you are approaching this pain or the situation or the connection with yourself or what is in the way for you to connect with yourself in a deeper level the way you look at your body or you look at this person you are approaching that with the three of pentacles like a master now you have a new you have a new like optimism a new vision a new clarity on what about this situation so um uh, yeah and uh, because that you do that also because of you doing that also creates a lot of healing and i also feel if this is another person this person is meeting you on the same ground so maybe you have been very like unbalanced or in different places in your life but now finally you're coming together and finally you are at the same page yeah you're at the same page and if it if this is with yourself you're at the same page with yourself sometimes we're not like our body is in one page and our soul is in another and our emotional uh energy is in one and our mind is somewhere else like we're all scattered <laughs> so maybe you've been very scattered your energy has been very scattered you know and it has not you have not been friends with yourself but you're becoming friends with yourself during the month of may and maybe this it's both those things you're becoming friends with yourself and in that there's also room for you to become friends with your loved one and take your relationship to the next level so there's definitely taking your relationship to the next level here with yourself or with this person and i i think of all those all the piles here so we had like really like wild energy going from one to three it calmed down and four here is like it's gone so it was like a whole journey here i felt during uh, through the pile one to four <laughs> so anyways and here is kind of like the final resolution, the final end result, you know, of all this. Hmm. We're going to do three more cards here. <clears throat> no, yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> so let's do the Light Seers Tarot to get some more messages here. Hmm. Yeah, all of a sudden it's going to be easy for you here. If easy does it. So, I'm, and I'm, I'm, it feels like there is a lot of sorrow connected to this person or connected with yourself it's gonna be good for you to 
really feel some deep heart healing, some deep love, and even maybe even romance coming into your life here. And with the rose here, maybe you're getting flowers even, or maybe you're buying flowers to someone. We're gonna do four cards, I think. So let's see here. Oh, we have one last. Let's do that one. So we have Ace of Pentacles. But yeah, look at that. A new beginning. It is a new start. And Ace, you know, Pentacles is all about earth elements. So yeah, new stable ground. There's a new page, new stable ground here. That, that cannot be shaken anymore because you learned the lessons, you faced the emotions, you you got maybe new information maybe, or you, you get tired of being unstable. Uh, you got yourself together. Does that make sense even? And the star, wow. I mean, whoo! There could be even like miraculously coming together with somebody you love. So if this is a twin flame, it could be really like that you broke through a big blockage and now you're coming towards each other in a new way, deepening that strong energy, the strong connection between the two of you. And we have Queen of Pentacles. So wow, wow, <laughs> I mean, and Ten of Cups. Wow, pile number four. I mean, wow. Ten of Cups, ha living happily ever after. Your whole life is about to change. <laughs> Pile number four. I really mean it. Your whole life is about to change. It's such a positive energy here. It's a new beginning. It's a new start. It's stable ground. And you're, you're taking it as a queen. You're ready. You're ready for that new start. It's not going to be, you know, you're stepping into a new start on shaky legs. No, you're not. You you don't have to integrate and do a lot of things. You're just ready. You're just ready. And it's just coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles, with the Pentacles energy in a very grounded, earthy energy here uh, coming into your life. And you are mastering that new page, that new face of your life like a queen. I mean, calm, balanced, uh, you are embracing this big miracle that is coming into your life. The new vitality. The, you are reborn. You are reborn during the month of May. And yeah, wow. And if this really is a love story going on here, you are finally coming together with this person. You know, the Ten of Cups. You're finally coming together with this person in the most beautiful way. So feelings are being expressed here. Love is being shown. Romance is in the air. Love making is going on here. And if this is with yourself, you are doing this with yourself. You're pampering yourself. You're loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself. Your routines are finally stable. Your mind, emotion, physical body and soul are all finally on one page. You know, it's not, you're not scattered anymore. You are, you are whole. You are, yeah, you're whole. You're in union with yourself or in union with this person and life is going fine, sm sm smooth. You're smooth sailing <laughs> during the month of May. Yeah, smooth sailing. Everything looks fine. And with the justice here, it feels like you ended a big karma, a big karmic lesson. You have ended a big karmic lesson. You balanced it out with the temperance here and uh, yeah, you ended it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think it was a bit of a shorter reading here, but I think for you, hmm, pile number four, it's going to be a very easy month. Uh, this is, seems like this is going to be kind of in the focus here. I don't see like a lot of other things happening. Um, I think you're going to be in, a, in a, a very like euphoric energy. Yeah, that's actually kind of the right word. Yeah, I feel like a bit euphoric energy here. And deep, deep, deep healing. I think there's going to be a lot of things going on deep within your body or your body is healing or your mind is healing or your emotions is healing because everything is being calibrated into that same page that we've been talking about. So everything is coming together. And the end here with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's beautiful, wonderful, wonderful month of May for you. Okay, that was the, you, the end of your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story in the commentary section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number four. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.